Husqvarna unveiled their stunning Norden 901 concept at Eichmer this year, and the reception, as far as I can tell, was overwhelmingly positive. Husqvarna have a striking, distinctive visual style in their Vipillen and Svartpillen modern retro bikes, and it looks like the Norden is basically the result of them applying that same design ethos to the adventure bike segment. You only have to scan the comments on social media posts about this bike to see that people really seem to love the concept. Not only does it have that signature style, but the equipment choices look like it's a bike that means business too. In fact, I think Henry Crew put it well in a recent blog post on thecaferacer.com when he said that they've achieved something no other manufacturer has yet considered attempting, a truly beautiful yet uncompromising adventure bike. And just this week, Husqvarna have confirmed that the Norden 901 concept will in fact move into production. In their press release, they say that forming Husqvarna Motorcycle's vision of an adventure touring motorcycle, the Norden 901 is a dynamic twin-cylinder bike that features advanced rider ergonomics and high performance based on years of rally experience. Featuring distinct modern design, it delivers both outstanding street and off-road performance, class-leading lightness and power delivery is set in a versatile and accessible package, precisely arranged to allow discerning riders uncompromised exploration possibilities. Delivering effortless rideability and high-end modern equipment, the Norden 901 can be used on daily commutes, extended adventures and everything in between. In this release, they also reiterated that they're attempting to build a lightweight adventure touring bike and that it will use an 889.5cc parallel twin engine specifically tuned for adventure usage. As many of you'll be aware, Husqvarna is owned by KTM and their bikes are built around existing KTM models. Take the Vitpillen and Svartpillen bikes we've already mentioned where the smaller capacity 401 models are based on the KTM 390 Duke and the larger capacity 701s built around the 690 Duke. As such, the Norden 901 will almost certainly use the KTM 890 Adventure as a platform, which is rumoured for release in 2020. KTM already announced a bigger update to the 790 Duke in the 890 Duke R at Eichma, and the extra capacity was good for an additional 18 horsepower producing 121 peak. So if the 890 Adventure range materialises, it ought to be a safe assumption that it will take the 790 Adventure's 95 horsepower and push it to way over 100. Husqvarna also say that they're aiming to strike the perfect balance between off-road performance and touring ability with a 21-inch front wheel and an 18-inch rear. They've also confirmed that the Norden will get the same WP branded suspension components as many other bikes do in the KTM range, which they hope will offer both decent comfort and precise handling. But that's all they've confirmed for the Norden so far. It'll get the 890 motor, big off-road wheels and WP suspension. But there's certainly more that can be gleaned from the concept bike which are captured first-hand here at Eichmer. There's distinctive LED lighting all round that will more than likely make it to the production model as it isn't dissimilar to the lights used on the Svartpillen and Vitpillen. In fact, they're one of the visual features that makes it instantly recognisable as a Husqvarna retro, as is the flat matte paint job. I do like, however, the addition of the contour line graphics and fluorescent accents which are carried onto the rims. Personally, I love this paintwork and bodywork and I think it's a sleek move away from some of the busier designs that are common in the adventure bike market. There's also a lot of touring spec equipment on show on the concept bike with handguards, engine bars, peripheral lights and luggage. Whether these will be options or available as different tiers and packages in the model range remains to be seen, but it looks like it'll be well set for some decent miles. One of the more distinctive features that caught my eye was the disc guards, both front and rear, which are normally the preserve of motocross bikes. Whether they have any serious practical purpose on the Norden remains to be seen, but they definitely give it a more off-roady, aggressive style. Some hefty looking own brand radially mounted monoblock calipers could still be seen peeking out which seems to be par for the course now in the adventure market. Take Triumph's updated Tiger 900 for example which was announced just this week and it'll now come with Brembo style limo brakes across the entire range right down to the cheapest base model. I really hope that this bike doesn't get compromised in its design when it eventually goes into production. So often we get our hopes up when an awesome looking concept bike is publicised only to end up 
work with something a little bit tamer and more conventional when it hits the road. I understand there are certain criteria that manufacturers have to meet in order to be able to sell their bikes, but there are some cool design features on the Norden which ought to make it through homologation. Husqvarna certainly achieved something different and distinctive with the Spark Pillen and Vip Pillen, so here's hoping they can do it again in a different area of the market. It will also be interesting to see what comes of the KTM 890 Adventure. I'd expect to see it released before the Norden, and the specs of that bike will be a strong indication of what's to come from Husqvarna. And then there's also the Ducati Desert X concept to consider. This was also shown at Eichma based upon the Scrambler 1100, and it feels like the semi-retro, semi-futuristic design with some decent off-road equipment is operating in a similar space to the Norden. I particularly like the twin round LED headlights behind a glossy black panel, and although it's most likely a concept bike gimmick, the extra rear fuel tank is a nice touch. But there's no word on whether a bike like this will make it into production. There are certainly some big fans of the desert sled, so a bigger capacity version would, I assume, tick some boxes for Ducati Scrambler fans. Which one do you prefer? Personally, I like the Norden the most. It's like a monster truck version of the Svartpilen, which is a great recipe in my book. Or would you prefer the more mainstream adventure bike styling of a KTM 890 Adventure? I've never been a big fan of KTM's orange bikes, so the Norden seems like a great way to sample their tech and engineering in a much better looking shell. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this, hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.